been a while since I've done a what's in my pack video, so I felt like this would be a uh, good time while most of us are still at home uh, to go through kind of uh, what's in my pack and what's changed and uh, even go through an update uh, real briefly on my cook kit um, and also on what I eat for one day's worth of food on the trail. So let's start with uh, what's in the hip belt pockets. On my right side, these are items that I want to be able to get to pretty quick. Um, and these are items that I'll either need all throughout the day. So, let's get through these. Uh, one is a pair of small scissors or shears. Uh, these are multi-purpose. Uh, not only are they great for opening just about anything that I need, I can also uh, trim my fingernails with these. Uh, and they're the perfect size to be able to get into my bear canister. So I'll show you that more in a moment. This has got a Nightcore NU25 headlamp, uh, very lightweight. Um, this has been my new go-to headlamp. It's incredible. Modified the strap. This is just a piece of grow grain and uh, a bungee in the back. And uh, that cut down on weight uh, significantly. see. I've got pocket profile map. Depending upon where I'm going, I may only have uh, a small piece of cutout uh, section of map. If I'm going somewhere that I know has got a pocket profile associated with it, like the Foothills Trail, uh, Art Lobe Trail, Appalachian Trail, anything like that, uh, then I'll carry just uh, that map. I'll also have uh, downloaded on my device, um, which I'm filming with now, uh, the GPS just in case. So all of this is set up for an overnight. Very few things would actually change if I were going out for multiple nights. I've got small Bic lighter. Depending upon the stove I take, the stove I'm taking uh, now needs uh, an external lighting source. If I bring a canister stove, it's got a piezo ignition, but uh, want that nearby. And then, just to make sure that my beard doesn't get tangled, and so if I'm needing for some reason to hitchhike, um, I don't look completely disheveled. Uh, nice lightweight comb there as well. And that's the contents of my right hip belt pouch, and all of those are accessible as, as need be. My left pouch is also stuff that I'm going to need access to um, at some point during the day, but it tends to be a little bit more uh, medical related. Um, at night, good medicine for me is not being able to hear. <laughs> um, I go, particularly on my first night out, it's a madhouse. I can hear almost everything, so I need to shut out some of the world. Uh, this is a tube of uh, Sport Slick. Um, Sport Slick, I really like. It's uh, multi purpose in that it can be used as like a triple antibiotic cream. I can also use it uh, if my lips get chapped. Um, and it's also uh, good to uh, almost like a, uh, a, like a glide, a form of like body glide uh, as well, if need be. I have one day's worth of medicine and vitamins. Uh, so half this tube is for uh, my evening regimen, uh, and half this tube is for morning regimen. Uh, so it's got some of my allergy meds in it. It's got some turmeric with black pepper. Uh, it's got uh, fish oil and uh, multivitamin. And then for cleaning, I've got some uh, Dr. Bronner's. Uh, this is the lavender soap. And... This is off the top of a laboratory wash bottle, and uh, this is for my backwoods bidet. So I'm going to go ahead and set up my hammock uh, so that you can see what that would look like, and then I'll show you the rest of the contents of the pack that's in there. I'll go ahead and take this off. After I found some trees that have a nice um, setup to them, I'm going to go and sit my stuff next to the head tree 
And this top pouch is a uh, zippered compartment. Let's say that this is, if it were raining outside, I'm gonna set this up as if it were doing so. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my stakes and put those in my pocket. I'm gonna pull out my tarp. Now on the head end of the tarp, I've got this orange cord. Um, this is a symmetrical tarp, but that just kind of is a reminder for me, so I'm always setting it up and taking it down basically the same way. Just one more thing to help prevent confusion while I'm in the woods. That's a little too low. Seems about right to me. I'm going to use one of these carbon core stakes. And I just do a Marlin spike hitch to stake out the corners. I always tend to do one side before the other. Now I would be free to go inside the tarp, which is already set up to my height and liking, and set up the hammock. All right, so I folded the tarp back to make it a little easier for you to see what it would look like on the inside. Um, so I would unroll my pack. Again, I would be hunkered down if it were raining, but that'd be kind of the, the simplest way to do it. There's the top of my hammock, and there is, um, Everything is, that is in the top shelf of the hammock is very quick to get to. If I were to open this up, I could unzip it and make life very easy for me. I'm just gonna pull this top out. Here's the zipper. Come up over to this section here. Start kind of pulling out from inside. Find, here's the other end and bring it to here. Now I've done this enough times to know that if my tarp is in a good position, then this is where I'm gonna want my hammock to be as well, and I'll be very comfortable in this setup. So, I'll temporarily sit that there. I'm just gonna bring the bug net back inside. Got my top quilt ready to go. I've got a uh, down outer layer up in the net at the top. I've got uh, Melanzana fleece. Uh, this has been uh, probably one of my go-to mid layers. Nice for hiking in. Got the big stash pocket on the front. Uh, rather nice and cozy. Also in the top pocket, 
I've got a, a real lightweight wool shirt if I need to have something to change into so I'm a little drier at night. Uh, if I've gotten real wet during the day, I want to make sure that my core can dry out. And then, kind of bundled together, I've got a black rock woolly hat, a buff, and some wristies. All right, this I know now is uh, pretty well set up for exactly what I'd want. Got a pretty decent tension on the ridge line. I've got this one a little extra long so that I've got uh, space for the for the net. But uh, if I were to lay out, use this melanzana as my pillow. You know, I could take a nap, but I guess we're in the middle of a video. So let's break it down as to what each of the other things in my pack are. I've moved to the one liter smart water bottle. Found that to work very well. Um, I still prefer the feel of the Powerade bottle, uh, but this works with uh, my backcountry uh, bidet or backwoods bidet if I need to. Just switch off the cap, uh, keep everything uh, clean and out of the way. Uh, keep that out front, in front of me and uh, the, the water is uh, what assists in the cleaning. Uh, no real blowback from this distance, keeps everything nice and clean. Water bottle, I'll set that up here for now so it's not in the way. If it's raining, use uh, my highly modified six and a quarter ounce umbrella. This is Reflective Cuban. Uh, they don't really make this anymore. And this has got the Six Moon Designs uh, carbon uh, shaft. It's almost like Mary Poppins. It wants to float away on its own, so that's kind of nice. Love hiking with an umbrella. So that's on this slide-through pocket here on the side. i got this upside-down pocket here. I've got a wind shirt, and then I've got a an anti-gravity gear, sill nylon, um, rain skirt. Reason I went with sill nylon for this uh, is because I may sit on this and it just holds up a little bit better. Uh, and if it does get ruined, it is way cheaper than a Cuban one. Though a Cuban one might be a little lighter. Cuban's also see-through. And uh, if things get uh, real wet down bottom, I don't want anybody to see if I'm letting things dry out. All right, let's switch to the other side. I've already done a video on my uh, first aid kit. Started hiking with a, a small piece of chamois. Uh, this, when it's completely dry, weighs next to nothing. I think it's uh, less than a, it's like a three or four grams. Uh, so that's, uh, that's rather nice. Uh, it does hold water. Uh, but being on the outside of the pack, if it's sunny like it is today, it'll dry out very quickly. This has got multiple purposes. Uh, not only can I wash myself off with it, uh, if need be, kind of put some uh, water, a little bit of Dr. Bronner's and go to work. Uh, I can also use this to wipe off my tarp in the morning. Rinse that out and that'll dry rather quickly. Water purification. Got a cut off piece of a smart water bottle for dipping. Got a Seeker one liter bag, and I've got uh, my uh, Katahdin, um, or Katadyne, I'm sorry, I got my Katadyne uh, Bee Free water filter. Still my go-to water filter. And that sits all right here. And that is all of what is in my backpack, except food. So let's get started with this. Uh, this is just a DIY pot cozy I made. The morsel spork um, mini, which I cut the fork off of because I really just like the spoon. Uh, and I've used this on just about every trip I've had it since. I really like the siliconized rubber on the outside, helps clean the pot. This is a Vargo bot 
700. Uh, I took the mug handles off of it. Um, I changed out the O-ring for a, a much larger diameter, or not diameter, but uh, yeah, thickness uh, O-ring. And I trimmed off the edge here of the pot so that um, water and other gunk doesn't get caught up in there. And this has been my go-to. I can uh, pre-soak pre in this. Uh, it's metal, so that I can also uh, not only have to, if I needed to cook something, I can. And since I'm not cooking a ton anymore except for dinner, I'll show you what my uh, stove system looks like when I get into my bear canister. So put that back down in there. Oh, trail wallet. This would have my ID, uh, credit card, um, maybe $10, $20 in cash, and my car key. So if I needed to get back to my car, I needed to hitch, which I've had to do before, um, I can give somebody some gas money, uh, I can get some emergency uh, snacks or something if I need to. Um, that's come in handy. That just kind of hangs out down here in the pocket. this up. This is the uh, Barricade Weekender. It's nice. I've got um, my identification in here and phone number if somebody uh, finds it if, uh, say, a bear knocks it off a cliff or something and it's recoverable. In here, to help keep things from rattling around too much, I keep it thick, but uh, it, it's cushy. Um, piece of foam. I can sit on this. It's insulation for whenever I'm around in camp. Um, but it also helps dampen the noise in here. If I'm going on a big trip, uh, then there's not going to be enough noise in here because, well, it's full of food. Um, I didn't take the time to repackage uh, some tortillas, but uh, those are normally going to be in there. So let's start a meal at a time. Uh, breakfast is going to be the uh, breakfast protein shake, which uh, I've got a video on. Then I'm going to have a first snack, which is going to be uh, probably a protein bar or a granola bar or uh, something along those lines. Lunch is going to be uh, two tortillas and some kind of quick lunch that I've got uh, pre-soaking. Uh, so far, I've not had to cook anything. This is a chicken bean burrito. Got a video on that coming out soon. I'll probably have a second uh, protein bar or snack. And then for dinner, might be something like, uh, this is some spaghetti uh, that I've made. A uh, video coming out on that soon as well. Um, put that over here. Throughout the day, I've got this. Uh, I put this in here just so you could see. It's like a true lime, black cherry limeade. Uh, plus um, my own homemade mix for uh, Gatorade that's uh, got no added sugar. It's just uh, 1,000 milligrams of sodium, uh, like 400 milligrams of potassium, and like 200 milligrams or just shy thereof of magnesium. Um, I don't get cramps anymore, and that, that helps a lot. I split this between lunch and uh, dinner. I keep my toothbrush and a toothpaste dot that I made down in there. And then this is my stove setup. This is a, a DIY version of like a Mini Bull Designs Elite stove. Um, that with uh, the empty bottle, this is uh, some, I think it was a uh, like nasal spray. I think it was a nasal spray bottle. Um, this works because it doesn't spill and that really tiny hole makes it great for, for filling up with. This empty is like an ounce, and then I can put uh, for the whole thing. And then I can put whatever amount of fuel in I'm going to need. So that is close to 3,000 calories worth of food uh, for a day, and right at uh, 200 grams of protein. Um, and then that's also, um, uh, that's for less than two pounds of food per day for that kind of caloric density.
put this stuff back in there. And I would just, normally I just tighten one while I'm hiking uh, if, uh, so I can get in there pretty quick. I got a pair of um, Shady Ray sunglasses. Uh, I like these because they're cheap and light and they fit in my side pouch of my uh, backpack. Uh, plus, if you lose them, uh, they'll send you a replacement pair for free. Uh, I'm not uh, sponsored by any of these companies, by the way. OR hat, I've had this for years. Icebreaker wool shirt. Um, I like this because I can uh, unbutton it if I get real hot. But particularly if I'm trying to catch a hitch or something, uh, I get some sun protection around my neck. But I also look a little bit more presentable. Um, I just like wearing shirts with collars. Uh, but uh, that's just me. I've got some uh, running shorts that have got pockets in them so I can put stuff in it if I need to. Uh, obviously I could go shorter for the whole skies out, uh, thighs out thing, but uh, I really like the functionality of having pockets. Total pack weight as a base pack weight, let's start with base pack weight. Base pack is no consumables, that's food, water, fuel, um, anything along those lines. Base pack weight is nine and a half pounds. Two pounds of that's the bear canister. Um, I'm very, very comfortable with that weight. I've gone a lot lighter. I don't need to. Uh, total pack weight with everything. So let's add right at two pounds for water. And like I said, about two pounds for food and fuel. Um, that's going to be, so nine and a half plus uh, four. We're still under 15 pounds uh, for an overnight. Um, pretty good, pretty good. Well, if you uh, like this video, uh, please make sure to uh, give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. Um, if you've got questions, please drop those in the comments. And uh, as always, thanks for watching.